Hello, this is uh, an Epic Guard here, once again, picking up where we last left off. Uh, I last left you, we had compiled our first map, we're looking at it right here, relatively small. Uh, today we're going to run through a few things, we're going to be covering uh, doors in the hammer editor, and then we're going to be doing inputs and outputs. So. We're officially off of our uh, introduction and we're starting our actual uh, tutorials to teach you how to use the uh, deeper inner workings of Hammer Editor. Of course, it's going to have to start off a bit slow with things like inputs and outputs, but then we'll get to some other uh, better stuff uh, a little bit quicker. So, first of all, uh, it's kind of hard to build a door when we only have one room, but that's okay, it's easily solvable. We're going to delete this wall. Select it and press the delete key and it will go away. Or, alternatively, you can just shrink it down or move it because we're going to need to uh, keep portions of it anyway, so might as well just shrink it for the time being. Now, I'm going to take my floor, I'm going to shift and drag my floor over here. We're going to create another room. We're going to take this wall, just extend it. Actually, let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Alright, there we go. Now, as you can see, I just uh, clicked and uh, extended this wall. I'm going to do the same to the other wall. Just click on the, uh, just click anywhere on the actual wireframe geometry to select it. Alright, we're going to drag it up. Good. Now we're going to take our back wall, select it, we're going to shift, click, and drag to clone the wall, and we're going to take our wall all the way up here. Now, of course, we get the wrong side facing, so you're going to right click and scroll down to transform. We're going to type in 180 degrees on the Z terrain, which is your left to right flip it and you'll see in our 3D view that it's now facing the correct direction. Alright, so now we have two rooms that we can work with. And our uh, wall over here is going to need a bit of a makeover because the, uh, of our no-draw texture. So all you have to do is to click on your texture uh, face edit sheet, the multicolored square here. Click on the texture you want to apply and then right click on the area you want to apply it to. And bingo. All done. All right, so I'm gonna close my uh, face edit sheet here. And but once again, if you want to move around in this freely, instead of having to use the uh, WASD and the arrow keys, just hit Z. Is a hot key that will bring this little uh, crosshair up on your screen. Then you can just use the mouse to look around, and you still use WASD to move. But all right, so let's uh, create our first door. All right, so to do this, we're going to create a uh, prop door rotating. This is a very simple door. It's probably the easiest one to make out of all the Half-Life uh, doors. And uh, you're probably going to want to use this door the most because it's arguably the most realistic. Um, these are all the doors you're going to be seeing in Half-Life playing through the single-player campaign. So first, you're going to click on the Entity tool, which is our little uh, cone and a ball on the cone, whatever it is. So click on that. And then I want you to click right here next to your wall. And we'll spawn a little Gordon Freeman there. And you're going to double click on him to bring up his uh, properties sheet. And now under the uh, class, I want you to type prop, P R O P, underscore, door, underscore, rotating. Hit apply, and it'll turn into this little uh, red square. Uh, once again, for hotkeys, if you have an item selected and you want to manipulate it in your 3D view rather than your 2D views, hit X as a hotkey, and now you can move it around in the 3D view. Cool, huh? Alright. So, now let's just do a quick review of what exactly is going to uh, come with our door here. You have your spawn flags, which is starts.